Alright, so boom. We got some more Sunbreak news. And today it's mostly armor sets because some armor got revealed yesterday. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to make a video yesterday, but we're here now. So, first up is the male Garangolm set. And it's big and bulky just as I thought it would be. <laughs> um, I don't use male hunters usually, so this kind of was never my thing to begin with. I don't really like the big bulky sets, but for those that do, here you go. More bulky Gundam-ish goodness. And you got a bolt on your head too. So that's pretty cool. So the female set. Now this, this is stylish as fuck. It also reminds me of something out of JoJo's. And I know, I know, I know. The weeb in me is coming out, but listen. I think more so the hat and the drapes coming down from the hat along with the designs, you know, like, I, I love that little African-ish print, little fucking looking good. I, I like it. I really like it. Also, Trojan Horse Palamute. I love it. I love it. Uh, to be honest, though, I'm pretty sure the one I'm going to show you for the Palamute later is going to be better, in my opinion. But this for the Palico is the best. This is literally the best one. Like Minecraft Kitty. This shit is awesome. I, I love how just big and bulky this shit looks. So, uh, the male Luna Get On armor. It's pretty much what I thought it looked like, to be honest. It looks pretty good, but I'm biased. So, the female armor <laughs> looks very similar to the male armor, but obviously you just have to see your, your huntress's face. Um, and then on top of that, you kind of have little cat ears or wolf ears going on there so i like this it's pretty good i do i also like the coloring you know got that sonic colors going on there but this for the power mute this is fucking fire like this is this is this is great it's right up there with the almatron power mute set and then this for the palico it's pretty good you know i'm not too fond of it i like the little claw your palico gets but it's a height, you know, it's, it's okay. But this hammer, this Luna Gaddon hammer looks fire as well. This looks really good. And I actually might use this hammer. I'm trying to get into hammer again with rise. And this big bulky ass sword is actually a long sword for Garangol. So yeah, it's not a switch axe, it's not a great sword. This is a long sword. So we got some little extra news today, actually, and it's regarding one of the new characters and we have a quite a handful of new characters for sunbreak and i'm wondering if more of their stories will get flushed out but the character cheech who's also our quest giver for sunbreak in elgato there's more to her than meets the eye right i mean you can probably tell at this point but thanks to producer suzuki seen from the recent trailer even admiral gallius the leader of the elgato outpost bends the knee to Cheech, the quest damsel. That's because she's actually the princess of the kingdom. So why is she working as a quest receptionist? Yeah, I don't know. Why is she? Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't, but there you go. <laughs> but also on top of that, she is the princess, but that also means we haven't seen the queen yet. And I'm pretty sure there is a queen considering what Ron Dean would always say about the queen. So. Maybe we'll see Cheech's mom. Maybe we'll also see a king, if there is a king. Uh, who knows? We'll see. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for the news, for some break news. Um, experimenting with giving you guys some more news while I work on the other projects that take a while for me to do. So yeah, um, if you're new here, consider subbing. If you love Moss Hunter, sub. Let me know what you think down below of these sets. And bada bing bada boom.